Hi, this is Andy. I'm going to show you how to use FieldWire for common architectural and design workflows. In this workflow, I'm on site during CA and need to capture information as I'm on site with photographs and information and then quickly generate a report to memorialize the observations that I've made. What we have seen is a lot of our clients spending a ton of time snapping photos with their phone or camera and then writing down notes on a notepad or on a printed set of plans. Then once back in the office, we see hours and hours of time spent assembling these reports. Fuse, one of our consulting engineers, reported saving 10 hours per week of time just on using FieldWire to automate their reports. So a couple ways that we can use these reports is to document existing conditions as you're on site, uh, verification of certain materials on site, so making sure that those specifications match what's actually being delivered and installed, and then more generally just to document progress or any other inconsistencies when you're doing a punch walk. For today, I'm going to review an example where you're walking the exterior of a, of a building, ensuring that the exterior metal panel system is installed correctly. Along the way, I'm going to document progress. To do this, I'm going to switch over to my mobile device. A couple notes is right now I am using my iPad device. We work on both iOS and Android devices, both tablets and phones. Right now I'm on my iPad, but I have turned it so that you're able to visualize what you would see if you were using a phone in the field. Like I mentioned during our first workflow, one thing that's very similar from project to project is the way that it's laid out. And so both on web and mobile, I have a list of all of the features and then um, on the, on the right-hand side, what those features lead to. So in this specific example, I'm gonna go through my plans as if I were walking the site and going through and ex uh, inspecting the interior, exterior conditions. I'm easily able to swipe right to left to go from plan to plan, pinch my fingers in and out to see exactly what I need to see and zoom into a specific location. Down here at the bottom right hand corner, I have this up arrow where I'm able to access all of my markup tools. These are any highlights, any notes that you're seeing as you're walking around site or just reminders to yourself. Up here at the top, and what we're going to focus on is this task pin, where I'm able to drag and drop my task into the specific location where I'm seeing some sort of observation, whether that's um, a deficiency, something that needs to re be reported in a punch list, or just progress that I need to memorialize. I'll go ahead and select the pin and drag and drop it to the specific location where I'm seeing um, something to document. You'll notice that this task uh, dialog box comes up and I'm able to enter information into exactly what I'm seeing. In this case, I'm looking at the admin area main entrance. So I'm going to go ahead and title that. I'll use my message option here to add a title by just selecting the box. And then I can use talk to text to quickly enter information into this task since I'm on the go. admin area main entrance. You'll notice that this first message will also become the title of this task. I can use this message to put any other information about what I'm observing. In this case, I'm gonna go back to messages and put more context. Composite metal has been installed correctly, yet to complete panels at the canopy. So here I'm able to quickly in enter where I am, what's going on specifically on that plan, and then information about what I'm observing or what needs to be done in the future. I'm also able to use this photo icon to quickly snap a couple photos to, to show exactly what I'm looking at. I have selected the photo icon. You'll have to work with me because we're still working from home. So I'm sure you guys can use your imagination and imagine just quickly snapping photos as you're going around doing your walk. This is the basis of a task, and this would take the place of adding notes to some sort of plan or document, and then having to uh, trace that information back into a report. 
if I go up here, I'm able to edit this task, and this will just allow me to enter more task details into the task itself. A thing to note about this is what you put into the task is what you get out of it. So you don't by any means need to put all of these bits of information in, but what you put in is what you can pull out. What I find most useful for our designers and architects is this category button. Categories are most commonly traits. The way that I've set this project up is to match those trades and information specifically with your CSI spec sections. Because we're looking at the exterior condition, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in our thermal and moisture control. What this will do is just serve as our primary filter. So I'm able to capture bits and pieces of my observation and categorize them into these spec sections and then later show the report based off of these spec sections. Later, we'll talk a little bit more about the rest of these attributes, but for the purposes of gathering information, this is the only bit of information that I'm going to put into the task. Now, if I go back to my project tab, I'm able to go to my task tab here, and this is where I can see all the different pieces of information that I gathered um, in, in my observation or site walk. I'm able to sort these these tasks or bits of observations by the different codes. So I can see specifically what I've captured on concrete, masonry, metals, and so on. Also, once I've finished my report, even on the mobile device, I can send out the report. So I can go to this up arrow here and select that I want to send out my site observation report. I'll jump into the web version to show how to set this up whenever uh, prior to going out on site. So now I'm back in the office in my web version. I can do this prior or after I do my site walk. I can go to my task tab and then go up to generate reports. Here I'm able to see all the different template reports that I've created. In this case, I've already created my site observation report template and can, can go into it and make sure it's configured the way I want. A thing to note there is once you set up the template once, you're good to go. I've gone ahead and selected that I want a, a detailed PDF, which is because I want to include and exclude all of these different pieces of information. So the messages, photos, etc. I've then gone in and said, okay, I only want to filter out the items that are open and I want all categories included for all of the different observations that I've captured in the last day. If I do this site report on a weekly or monthly basis, I can schedule that report to go out accordingly. Otherwise, I can just send the report once I get back to the office or directly from my mobile device as I just showed. Once it's all set up and configured, I'm able to get this report export. I'm able to put in your logo. It'll populate with a project name and address, and then it'll give me a little bit of information about what's included in that report. As I scroll down, I'll see the different headings that have to do with the different specification sections, and then all the observations or issues that I've noted, and uh, photos and other documents attached. That was the general overview of how to use Fieldwire for observation reports. Please let me know if you have any questions or need any assistance. Thanks.